Hi there, Jake Miller here, and today I'm going to share with you about one of my favorite time-saving measures in Google Chrome, which is the Auto Text Expander uh, extension. It's something that we're all probably familiar with things like this from our cell phones, but probably didn't know it was also in Google Chrome. You can see their slogan here, save on every keystroke. Notice they've intentionally left out some of the letters because that's essentially what you get to be able to do when you use Auto Text Expander. So the first thing to do with Auto Text Expander is to search for it in Google Chrome. Once you've searched for it, you will then click Add to Chrome and add it as an extension on your computer. Once you've added it, it'll then be up along the top bar up here. There it is. And it always opens up in a new tab where you can edit your bank of shortcuts. You can see they have a bunch of shortcuts available here, such as BRB, makes B right back, and other ones that are more detailed and longer. So if I jump over here to a Gmail and type in BRB and then put in a space, you see it puts in B right back. I could also put in, let's see what their next one is here, E and then the at symbol, and it will put in when I click space, uh, that person's email address. Now you notice every now and then it'll miss it and then you have to go back and try again. Notice it can be pretty long too with the things, the shortcuts you put in, like that one was HBD. One note about this, it works in almost all web pages, but one place it definitely does not work is in Google Docs, but I like it a lot in places like Schoology where you have to often type in the same types of assignments or reminders to your students and you can type them in really quickly. Note that you can go in and edit anything you want, such as right here, changing the E at symbol to be my email address so that now when I type in E at, it actually puts in my email address. You can click add to add new ones. For example, I'll put in here KSU so I get a shortcut that gives me Kent State University. And you notice when I jump back over to the Gmail after saving it, I type in KSU and KSU, and there it is, Kent State University. Now, one catch about that is you want to make sure these are things that you won't type otherwise and want to stay the way they are. So now I can't type KSU because it's always going to replace it with Kent State University. So if I add, add an at symbol on the end, which I would never type intentionally, I can now type KSU at and it'll give me Kent State University. So now I don't have accidents where I want KSU, but I keep getting Kent State University. Notice that, there, that you can save them every time you write them and back it up so that every time you log into Chrome from a different device or anything like that, you still have access to your same shortcuts. Now here are the shortcuts I have on my work account. Some really long things, like I often have to tell teachers how to add all of our printers on their MacBook Air, so now I can just type in hashtag printer and it puts in that text. Now I, I would never type, I would type in the word printer, but I wouldn't type hashtag printer, so that's why I made that my shortcut, because this is the only time I would ever use that. Okay. Also things that I don't remember offhand, like our phone number, the building, and our address I have in here too. Things that I need to type regularly, like when I submit a Chromebook for repair, I always have to put in this information. So I put in hashtag CBR and that goes right in there. There are also some really cool reminders up here, like you can now type in percent sign, clip percent sign, and it'll put in whatever is currently copied on your computer. So if you, I were to copy something like maybe the library barcode for the computer before using the shortcut, it would automatically paste that in there for me if I put in the percent clip in there. Also you could put in dates and times uh, so that it'll put in the exact date and time it is right now into your message or whatever and there's a link right here where you can see the different formats you can use.